Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about how important it is to maintain your weight when you wear a prosthetic leg, okay? Weight control is very important, okay? And the reason I say this is because when you expand, your prosthetic will not expand. When you lose weight, your prosthetic will not decrease in size, okay? So let me be clear, all right? There's there's nothing you can do when you gain too much weight except go get another prosthetic, all right? Now, a heavy prosthetic will slow you down. It will slow you down, drag you down, and it will make you slow, all right? Now, especially if you were born with a congenital birth defect like me, where my muscles in my stump are very tiny, okay? They did not develop... The leg didn't develop. I didn't even receive or develop a femur bone. So my condition is called um, PFFD, all right? And that's when you're born where your leg or something doesn't develop completely, all right? Now, with that being said, the muscles in my leg are very small. So trying to lug around a very heavy prosthetic is just, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard work, okay? And like I said, you know, you want to be able to keep up, you know, like I, I feel very, um, weighed down when I'm overweight. You know, my whole goal is to be able to keep up with my family, my husband, my children and my grandchildren, you know? So just recently I lost like 45 pounds. Okay. I was like 164 pounds and now I'm down to what, like 120 pounds. When I got on the scale this morning, I weighed 120 pounds. And let me tell you, all the pain that I was having on that um, heavy, wearing that heavy prosthetic, you know, because my good leg was taking a beating. My ankle was swelling. My knee was feeling like it was going to break if I hop on it one more too many times. I had to pull my crutches out. And normally I can hop around, hop around really good. I have really great balance. So, you know, when my leg felt like it was going to break in half one day, I was like, okay, enough is enough. And then my knee was swelling up and my foot was swelling up. And when I went to the doctor, they were like, you got a little arthritis going on. Osteoarthritis. That's what they told me. And, um... I just started feeling like an old lady. I'm like, what in the world is going on? That weight, it hits you differently when you get as old as I am. I'm 50, okay? And even over the years, when I was heavy, I felt it. I felt that leg. It was heavy, okay? So, um, a healthy diet is really important. And, you know, right now, I don't eat grains. I don't eat pork. I don't eat sugary, starchy foods, sugary drinks, no sugar. Nope. And I want to say this, please don't feel sorry for your children. Okay. And be giving them snacks to compensate for what you think they may need. They don't need an extra bag of chips or extra Twinkie or a hostess cupcake or a whole bag of candy to make them feel better. Okay. Give them some fruits and vegetables and lean meats. Okay, cut the processed foods and the junk out. Okay, because your kid is going to be big and they're going to feel it. Okay, they're going to feel it. You know, do not let your child get overweight. Do not. And I know some people are like, well, how, who is she to be telling somebody what to do? I'm not. I'm just sharing some valuable advice that I feel like will be more beneficial, you know, for people that wear prosthetic legs, all right? And I've been wearing a prosthetic leg since I've been three years old. And during my younger years, I was like, I was tumbling, I was swimming, riding my bike, I was skating, um, I was playing volleyball, I was a cheerleader, like I was doing everything, okay? And I'm a swimmer too. Now swimming, it's a head-to-toe workout. It doesn't bother your joints, okay? It won't hurt your joints, and that's something you don't want to do. You don't want to be going out lifting a whole bunch of heavy weights, okay, to try to lose weight. 
it's all about what you eat don't waste your time in the gym uh time t trying to uh lose a massive amount of weight you have to change your diet you know and then i always feel like it's better to lose the weight first and then tone up you know and toning up does not mean you got to go to the gym and start lifting up a whole bunch of weights okay let me tell you it will cause injury to your good leg doing that i've seen a guy he was doing them leg lifts with the weights and his leg went back the other way his good one went back the other way and he was done okay so just be careful keep that in mind and um just make sure hey you taking care of yourself you gotta take care of yourself you know you have to be determined you know to be light on your toes and right now i've um this year alone i've received two prosthetic sockets okay and um they're about to make me my third one because i've lost so much weight you know and i'm maintaining this weight and i feel great because i've never been able to you know basically maintain my weight so you know uh, it's hard work you know but with determination and a lot of love and i'm saying the love for the parents a lot of love attention to your child it can be done it can be done you know so um with that being said i'm not gonna hold you guys all day talking about weight control but it is important there's no need to be getting becoming overweight sitting around you know feeling sorry for yourself or your kid you know get up get going move around eat right lose weight and if you heavy right now lose that weight lose that weight because you're gonna struggle those legs can be they can feel like a ton of bricks when you when you walking around and carrying them around and stuff like that like i feel good i'm the size i was when i was in high school and um you know i'm loving it so hey i love you guys and i'll talk to you later hey and don't forget to like subscribe and comment. All right. Peace.